Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Real Numbers. Introduction of the concepts of the chapter. Hello, dear students. Here is the first chapter of our 10th class textbook. You see, look at this diagram. What can you see in this diagram? As it is a bunch of roses. Now, how many roses are there to count? Yes. If I ask you to count, you may start from one. You may say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Therefore, there are nine roses in this bunch of flowers. Look at this diagram. These are our freedom fighters. If I ask you to count how many are there, then you may start counting like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. In this diagram, we have 7 famous freedom fighters of India. If we look at this diagram, here are our Indian soldiers, and these soldiers are hoisting a flag and they are safeguarding our border and if I ask you to count how many soldiers are there then how do you count? Yes, you can start from 1 you may say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 you may say that there are 9 soldiers and these 9 soldiers are safeguarding our territory with our national flag in their hands. Look at this diagram. This is the moment when our Indian cricket team won the World Cup. If I count how many Indian players are there in the team, then how can you count? You may start from one. You may count like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. We may say that there are 15 members in our Indian cricket team who won the World Cup. You see, in all these cases, you started counting from 1. And you counted like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and so on. These numbers are used to count the objects. Therefore, these numbers are called counting numbers. Okay? You can use the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and so on. You can use these numbers to count the objects. Therefore, they are called counting numbers. And you see, if you look at the numbers, the numbers may start from 1 in this case. You may start counting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and later by getting a number 10 in which we have 1 and 0. In the next number 11, we have two ones, And in the next number 12, we have 1 and 2, like this. Therefore, we use the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. These 10 are called digits. And these digits are useful to form numbers. Any number can be formed by these 10 digits only. Therefore, how many digits are there? We have 10 digits. And what are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. These 10 are called digits. And we can form numbers by means of these digits. You see, for example, 1, 5, 10, 13, 28, 99, 123, 999, 1000 and so on. And all these numbers are formed by means of these 10 digits. Now, what are the different types of sets of numbers? You come across these sets of numbers in your previous classes. Yes, the first set of numbers is set of natural numbers. Natural numbers is denoted by the letter N. And these set of natural numbers may start from 1. 
वन टू थ्री फोर एंड सो ऑन आर कॉल सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर्स इन दिस सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर्स व्हाट इज द लीस्ट नेचुरल नंबर गुड वन इज द लीस्ट नेचुरल नंबर एंड व्हाट इज द हाईएस्ट नेचुरल नंबर गुड वी कैन नॉट से देयरफॉर द इनफिनिटी इज द हाईएस्ट और द मैक्सिमम नेचुरल नंबर देयर इज नो हाईएस्ट नेचुरल नंबर बट द लीस्ट नेचुरल नंबर इज वन नाउ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एनी टू सक्सेसिव नेचुरल नंबर्स इज ऑलवेज वन and again if you add 1 to a preceding natural number you will get the next natural number for example if you add 1 to 1 you will get 2 if you add 1 to 2 you will get 3 if you add 1 to 3 you will get 4 if you add 1 to 4 you will get 5 and so on you can write all these natural numbers since n is the first letter in the word natural numbers this natural numbers are denoted by the letter n next is whole numbers Whole numbers may start from zero, zero, one, two, three, four, and so on is set of whole numbers. And this set of whole numbers is represented by the letter W. This set of whole numbers is nothing but set of natural numbers plus zero. If we add zero to set of natural numbers, we will get set of whole numbers. Therefore, you can write set of whole numbers as zero. And this is union zero union n means natural numbers union union means you have to sum up natural numbers plus the number zero you will get set of whole numbers and the next is set of integers set of integers is represented by z you see the set of natural numbers is represented by n. And set of whole numbers is represented by W as W is the first letter in whole numbers. But whereas in this case integers are represented by Z, but not by I. Why? Because these integers are also called as Jahlen numbers in German. In German, you can call integers as Jahlen numbers. You can represent the integers with Z, Jahlen. May start with Z. Therefore, these are represented by Z. These integers may start from minus infinity to minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, and so on. This is nothing but the negative numbers, union whole numbers. If we add negative numbers to the set of whole numbers, we will get integers. And in other words, if we add negative numbers and zero to set of natural numbers, again we will get integers. The next set of numbers is rational numbers. The rational numbers is represented by the letter Q, but not with R. Q stands for quotient. You see, rational number is a number which is in the form of p by q. Any number in the form of p by q is called a rational number. But the condition is p and q should be integers and q should not be equal to zero. Rational numbers represented by the letter Q. And a number in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and q not equal to zero, is called a rational number. A rational number is a number which is in the form of p by q, a fraction form p by q, numerator by denominator, where both numerator and denominator should be integers, and q should not be zero. The denominator should not be zero. Such type of numbers are called rational numbers, and these rational numbers are represented by the letter q. Q stands for quotient. Every natural number is a rational number. Every whole number is a rational number. Every integer is a rational number. Therefore, zero, one, minus three, one by two, minus four by five, and all these are rational numbers. If we come to decimal numbers, zero point one two five. This is the terminating decimal, a rational number. Every terminating decimal is a rational number. This is zero point three three three, and so on. It is non-terminating but recurring. Three is repeating. Therefore, non-terminating and recurring decimals are also rational numbers. And this is twelve point four and seven is recurring. Therefore, it is again a rational number. And square root of four, square root of four value is two. Therefore, root one, root four, root nine, root sixteen, root twenty-five, and all these are rational numbers. If it has perfect square root, then they are called rational numbers. 
okay therefore what is the rational number a number which is in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to zero that is denominator is not zero both numerator and denominator should be integers such type of numbers are called rational numbers so please keep in mind every natural number every whole number and every integer is a rational number you might have a doubt that if you look at zero how zero is a rational number because can you write zero in the fraction form you may have such doubt as zero can be written in the fraction form how you can write zero as zero by one zero by two zero by three therefore it is in the form of p by q where zero numerator is a rational number and of course denominator is not zero zero by one zero by two zero by three therefore it is a rational number one means one by one you can write one as two by two you can write one as three by three again it is in the p by q form therefore it is a rational number minus three means minus three by one minus six by two like this you can write therefore this is also a rational number okay so doubt clear good not all terminating decimals and non terminating recurring decimals are always rational numbers you see i told you already 0.125 it is a terminating decimal 0.333 and so on it is non terminating recurring decimal and 12.4777 therefore it is 12.4 and 7 is recurring therefore again it is non terminating recurring decimal all terminating decimals and all non terminating recurring decimals are always rational numbers and the other type is irrational numbers as you know that the rational numbers are represented by q now irrational numbers are represented by q dash are they are also represented with s yes. an irrational number is a number which is not rational every non rational number is called an irrational number here are the examples for irrational numbers root 2 root 3 1 by root 2 root 2 plus root 3 Root three minus root five, and three point one two five six eight seven two six, and so on, and pi. All these are examples for irrational numbers. Root two. If you find the square root of two, you will get a non-terminating and non-recurring number. And root three is also non-terminating decimal. One by root two. A root two plus root three, and root three minus root five. 3.1256726 and so on here if you look at this decimal number this is non terminating it has no end and at the same time nothing is repeating it is not a recurring number and it is not a terminating decimal this type of decimal numbers are called irrational numbers and again pi is also an irrational number generally in the place of pi you may write 1 to by 7 As you wrote pi in the form of a fraction 22 by 7, why it is not a rational number, and how can you say that it is an irrational number? You may ask. Here, even though you can write pi is equal to 22 by 7, it is not its exact value. Pi value is not exactly 22 by 7. It is nearly equal to 22 by 7. The value of the pi is very nearly equal to 22 by 7. therefore it is an irrational number here is the note non terminating and non recurring decimal numbers are called an irrational number if you look at this different types of numbers you may come across natural numbers whole numbers integers rational numbers and irrational numbers but our chapter is real numbers now what is a real number so far you know natural numbers you come across whole numbers you learned what are integers and you understood what is a rational number and you also learned that how a number is an irrational number 